respect of fidelity to the Constitution of 2010. Those who have been tasked to implement it are those who do not believe in it. Those who are right now there were the ones who are opposing the, that constitution in the referendum of 2010. They want basically to take this country back to the, the, where we came from. If you look at what's happening, number one, legislature. Legislature is under serious, serious threat. By the results of last elections of 2022, last year, when the results were announced in the National Assembly, the Azimia coalition had 172 seats. The Kenya Kenya coalition had 165 seats. The majority coalition was one who should be the leader of majority in parliament is Mr. Apio and I of Azimio. But they started immediately when the results were announced to start pushing. Immediately in the February so name, they had already bought a party which was an affiliate of Azimio called uh, UDM. Then the other one called uh, uh, PA. Another one called Nini, my little chap chap, crossed the floor to join the other side, making them therefore Kenya Kwanza now have a majority. And that's how they managed to win the speaker elections. And they you now impose the person as a speaker of the National Assembly. Uh, this, the, the, this, if the judiciary was right, this, this election should have been nullified. Because those people who had moved the election as a mayor should not have been allowed to participate in the elections. Because they had defected. And under our laws, if you move from a party that sponsored you to elections, you are required to resign or lose your seat and go for a by-election. That has not happened. So now Kenya Kwanza is enjoying artificial majority in parliament. Then they went on again to now raid the other parties. You've seen members of ODM going to state house announcing that they are going to work with this uh, Kenya Kwanza government. You are elected on the ODM ticket. If you want to work with Kenya Kwanza, resign, go back for a by election and be reelected and come back. Then they related now our other new party, Jubilee. Several members of Jubilee announced that they are now going to work with Kenya Kwanza. They are moving away from the new coalition without following the process that is provided for in law. You cannot just announce, as me is a coalition, there's an agreement. If you want to remove, you must follow the process. Because the leadership of Jubilee is very much still in Azimio. But members of Jubilee Party, who are elected the Jubilee Party, the Azimio are now sitting on the other side of the house. So now you see, Parliament has completely been compromised. They are enjoying an uh, artificial majority in Parliament. And now they can pass all the laws that they want. Bills are published. They are taken to the house. Members are called there. And they are told you must pass this bill as it is. When it comes to the House, there is no debate. The Speaker the, you know, you should uh, move a, a, a position of motion to reduce the time that's allowed to members. In the old days when we were in that parliament, you could speak for the whole day on a bill. There's no time limit, limitation. And continue again the following day. Only when 
but you know, the time is closing now. Is when you know now other you call the member to 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 reply or reduce the time. But you cannot reduce the time below fifteen minutes. It should reduce to twenty minutes. Now they say you have only five minutes to speak on a bill. What can you say in five minutes on a bill? And when you start speaking, after three minutes, the first light is flashing. After five minutes, the red light. They remove the speaker from you. So you can't continue talking. So this parliament is useless. It's just a, a rubber stamp. And you have a speaker who's once a speaker is elected, first, if he was a member or a leader of a political party, he must resign from that political party. 